in just a second. So last night, I have a few things that I've been just stewing over since the end of the card last night. Number one, and most importantly, is I lost my tag team titles. I look over after being struck from behind, and I see the Book of Wrestling laying right by me, the dust still flying, and I turn around to see you standing there, standing strong. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. I, I have had messages from, from you people and oh from you saying that it was Billy Matter. And I don't know I don't know that it was or that it wasn't Billy Matter. But I do know before you come out here and gave your so ever heartfelt apology to these fans, I never got hit with the book of wrestling unless you did it. And another thing is if I lost a match with a title on the line, it's because I underestimated my opponent. Because I messed up. It's not because a guy who came out here and offered me an apology had a beef with another guy who interfered in my match and I turned around and see that guy standing behind me. I don't know if you want to call this bad luck or what. But the way I see it is we had the match where we wanted it. We had him, I had him dead to rights. I just super kicked the dude off the top rope. He was probably looking around the ring for his teeth when he saw the opportunity to roll me up after I got hit by the book of wrestling. It was Billy, go watch the match. You know what, I did watch the match. And I asked, did you get my clip for me, Jason? I asked for a clip. Let me explain to you what's on this clip. If you'll watch right here, what you will see on this TV is... Well, watch this clip right here. You tell me where you see Billy. Right there, you see, I am in a hold. I had just twisted my knee. It's a short clip. I'm in a hold. I had just twisted my knee. He's twisting my knee further. I'm right here, reaching, reaching for a tag. And where is Cash Jackson? Is Cash in my corner where he's supposed to be? But the last time that I teamed with you and had another friend as a tag team partner, we stood right here in this very ring arguing like we are right now, and I got blindsided and sucker punched. I don't know what it is about you. I'm not saying it's your fault. Your husband needs some mud on, man. Shut your mouth, little boy. I'm not saying it's your fault. But what I am saying is it's your fault. Yeah. Hey. What else I noticed about that match last night? At the very beginning of the match, I stepped in the ring ready to fight out last. For the first time I ever met him, I'm ready to fight him. And all these people, especially you and you, are yelling, Gaston's better. You weren't even in the match. We never said that. We never said no, that. Did. Yes, you did. I even made Gaston sit down. I said, this is my match, Gaston. Go sit down. You remember that? You remember that? It was my match, and you're out here getting people to cheerlead for you. You're a glory hog. No, I'm not. You're a glory hog. No, I'm not. You know what? You know what? It's not really worth it. What's the difference? We can move on. We can continue to be friends. We can move on. Just stay out of my matches and keep that book of wrestling away from me. Watch. Tell your dad. You all right with that? We can move. Just stay. Just don't come to ringside with me. Hey, you being a Karen. He is being a Karen. Yeah, the long hair. Yeah, one more thing. Yeah, he's being a Karen. Come on. It wasn't his fault. Billy, come around. You have his son. You have his son.
And if you can hold me down for three seconds, you'll have that chance of immortality to become a champion. Does that sound okay to you? It's really good. Thank <laughs> you.